I'm going to take a look at the Bailey Pursuit 554. It's a four berth caravan that features the very fashionable and very flexible layout of twin fixed single beds and an end washroom. As you'd expect of a Bailey caravan, it's built using the firm's Alutech construction method. That means it gets these really tough GRP skin sidewalls. Those sidewalls are actually grey, the front and rear panels are white, and I think that's quite a, an eye-catching combination. As I mentioned earlier, the rounded shape actually helps contribute towards better fuel economy on tow. Now, as you can see, Bailey doesn't cite the gas locker in the pursuit at the front of the van, as is traditional with most manufacturers. Instead, it's moved that locker to the off side of the van. It's placed just forward of the axle. It's done this to reduce nose weight. It also claims it makes for a more stable tow. It also has the effect of freeing up a little space at the front, so you have two little wet lockers either side of the van at the front. The Pursuit 554's front lounge is flooded with light. That's largely thanks to that big one-piece front window, but also you get an opening sunroof, which is a £356 cost option, and I would go for that personally. The upholstery is pretty attractive. You get the oatmeal seat squabs with a kind of copper colour detailing to the curtains, the cushions, and, and picked out into the backrest. The furniture is two-tone. It has a, a walnut and an hessian effect with, with chrome detailings to the lockers. And again, it's, it's a really attractive overall ambience. Let's take a look at the midship's kitchen next. There's plenty of food preparation space, both the work surface and the glass lid to the hob. It's a little bit compromised on storage. That's because Bailey cites its gas locker on the offside, which takes up space that would otherwise be given over to shelved units and the like. You have a combined grill and oven beneath that work surface area. You have three gas burners in that hob. You have a large stainless steel sink and also a Dometic combined fridge freezer underneath with a, a walnut veneered front panel. It's, it's a decent space, pretty minimal, but what you'd expect at this price point. Moving back to take a look at the sleeping provisions. Now, oddly, there's no partition separating the front and rear lounges, which I think is a, a bit of a miss. That said, these two single beds, they're fixed, and they're a decent size. The near side one is slightly longer than the off side one. Up front, those sofas are, are a good size. They're long enough for growing children to use as singles, and obviously they make up into a, a massive double, should you prefer. Heating and hot water is dual fuel and courtesy of the Truma Combi system. It's controlled by a smart new panel with a rotary knob. Finally, let's take a look at the rear washroom. It doesn't span the full width of the van. In the offside corner, you get a wardrobe space for hanging clothes. It also houses the freestanding table for the front lounge. The swivel head toilet is sited against the rear wall, which is rather unique. Bailey's build and construction method allows for you to access that Thetford holding tank from the rear of the van. It gives you a bit more flexibility in this space. Behind me is a basin, which is pretty deep. There's plenty of storage space for toiletries and the like. And to my left is a large walk-in shower cubicle, which is, which is fully lined. The shower head is sited on a high-level bracket, though, rather than on a riser bar. To sum up, Pursuit is well positioned to compete in the entry level market with the likes of Sprite and Explore. It looks really good both outside and in, it has reasonable equipment levels and there are some genuine technical innovation involved in its design and construction. But best of all I like that floor plan, I like the twin single beds and end washroom but up front those large sofas really make for comfort both seated and dining but also at night time. For me it's well worth a look.